My passion for computers really came from when I discovered what they could do with music. And so designing a course all around that is truly exciting. We're doing things in a new way. We're looking at where young people are today, about their attitude uh, to computers. And we've designed the course, not only give you the coding skills, but also develop your passion for code. What attracts me to uh, audio software development is the scope of creativity. You've got all of the creativity that you can be as a composer and a musician with the tools that we have, and then you just lift the ceiling of that. There's nothing you can't do if you know how to make your own music technology. The really exciting technologies that are happening now are kind of what we can do with hugely parallel computers like uh, on graphics cards and do the, the audio equivalent of ray tracing for, for sound in a room. And the, the other one obviously is AI. AI will move us into kind of new areas. It will make the scale of what we can do and produce much greater. It will be able to automate some things and that can be a bit scary. The one thing that requires though is that composers need to know a little bit about code uh, to make the most of their tools. If you're even thinking about something in computing at the moment, why not do computer science with a specialism and, and, and do it with something you're passionate about and, and who isn't passionate about music. Do something completely new and you know, discover new sounds, not just by fiddling with the technologies that exist, but by creating the technologies. Learning is one of the most fun things. I, I consider it a form of creativity. I think it should appeal to a wide range of people, everyone from music uh, to computing and everything in between. It's kind of that collaboration between arts and technology uh, and, that, and that someone can be both, and, you know, an artist and a technology maker. Yeah, I wouldn't have it any other way.